2011, we started the Peer Review Initiative within the Department of Marketing and Management. And this Peer Review Initiative is labeled the 3S model, which is basically about sharing, supporting, and self-assurance. This model is more development rather than judgmental. It is a confidential process and it's more via consensus rather than through line management. In the first stage, staff are asked to critically review their own teaching to conduct a self-analysis while benchmarking their units, um, by, while comparing their um, Echo 360 recordings by looking at uh, iLearn websites of other units and then conduct a needs assessment or a needs evaluation of their teaching. Once they have identified their needs, once they have identified the areas that need review, then in the second stage they are asked to appoint a reviewer, look for a reviewer who can give them a feedback on those specific areas that they need a review on. We advise them that it would be good that they can appoint a reviewer from the department and somebody who is senior to them and who has expertise because the entire process is about sharing expertise and about sharing good practice. Once the reviewers have been appointed, the lecturers, um, the academics basically converse with them and pre-inform them as to the areas that they would like to be they, that they would like to be reviewed on and the third stage is obtaining feedback we request them that they obtain feedback as soon as possible as soon as the process of review has been completed so it's a very collegial process and staff have been very happy to engage in the process some of the positive feedbacks were i really learned from the peer review experience and have now changed my unit outline because this peer peer review process in our department is not just about observation of teaching. We have many staff who engage in observation of unit outlines, assessments, and varied other facets of teaching. With regards to what is reported and what is not reported, as a peer review coordinator in the department, I am maintaining a spreadsheet. Every time an academic completes a peer review process, they sent me an email stating that we have completed the peer review process on a particular date for this particular unit and Dr. So-and-so was the reviewer for this particular unit. This is all that they're asked to report back. With regards to the feedback on their teaching, it is a totally confidential process. All academics in the department are notified that this is a totally voluntary process. It is not mandatory. It is for your development and it is for you, for you to benefit from the process. So please note that no reportings will be made on the feedback from individual reviewers. So the entire process has basically a system to enhance their uh, teaching and also to improve the learning experience of the students.